Hello and welcome to the Tristan channel. Now, if you're wondering why I'm at this weird, weird, blah, 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 weird angle, it's because I'm about to call it at night and um, because I'm working at tomorrow. But I just thought I'd do a video just for you guys, or and, well, not just for you guys, but also I wanted to watch a video of you before I went off to sleep. So this is our favourite one of our uh, regular. Blah, 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 see. One of our favourite video uh, channels we're going to uh, back to look at, um, and so this is another video by Slapped Ham. Scary footage that's leaving viewers creeped out. Now remember, when it kicks off, you give us a preview away, so we've got to look away. Okay, so without further ado, let's do this. and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking hey, at some super scary clips that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Ooh. Really Haunted is a YouTube channel we've featured before. It's run by a man named Lee from the United Kingdom. For several years now, he and his family have lived in a house that seems to be actively haunted. The activity inside the home is so frequent and forceful, Lee has set up a home security system to film around the clock to try and document the strange happenings and ultimately provide proof of the paranormal. In this clip from April 1st, 2021, we see footage of the family's living room. For the first few seconds, all is still until something chilling happens. I think I've seen this clip in a different video. Watch. Watching that again, you can see the chair in the distance as it seems to lift up all on its own. It then slams back down to the ground. Then, right at the end of the clip, some more activity is captured. Most comments on the clip were genuinely shocked by the footage, with some sending well wishes to the family, hoping nothing more sinister ends up happening. This is just one of many intense clips that have been captured by Lee inside his home. As always, I'll put a link in the description box below. It's well worth checking the channel out. Oh, sorry, just to like to add, if you're thinking, how's he doing that with the camera and <clears throat> things like that, just to let you know, if you're new to the channel, um, because I, I haven't got the money, you know, well... I do have a job and stuff like that, but I'm, I don't ha haven't. I still couldn't afford to make my room into a studio or you know, get the proper equipment for it. Because I've got, well, I've got, even got a PC, I've got an Xbox and a laptop, but um, so I haven't got the, uh, the, the the appropriate fundings to do stuff. You know I mean? But um, you know, if my channel becomes successful, you know, it'll get somewhere. <clears throat> when I say successful, it sounds a bit too pretentious. You know, I mean, you know what I mean? If it does well and I can get a membership going and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> then um, I can then make a proper studio, so I can proper entertain you guys. Yes. Well, I hope I hope I hope I'm doing a well enough job with the equipment I've got so far. But I mean, but um, yeah, you know, I can have a an actual chair and you know what I mean. Because I could do it with my laptop, you know, effectively if I had the right stuff. You know I mean, you, I mean, uh, this software I'm using it's just an app. You know what I mean? So it doesn't take much. I mean, it's already got a camera in my laptop, so. It's possible. It's, there is a way. In many ways. Well, it's looking at... But the thing is, also, this app is free. It didn't, you know, it's like... And also, so it's like... A lot of... Yeah. It's not, basically, it's just money issues at the moment. But, yeah. Once it's 
once I get that sorted out and all kinds of things, you know, it's one of those things, but so yeah, but yeah, I use a streaming guru, it's called, um, and it lets you use your selfie camera to film, it's good, check out, it's on Google Play, check out. I sometimes put on a selfie stick, I've got a selfie stick that turns into a tripod. Which is this thing, it opens up into like three legs. You use it, and that's why I usually, I usually have it like sat in for me. Or from a computer, I put it on top, because uh, I used, where I used to have a PC, I don't anymore, it sort of broke down. I've got my Xbox, but the top bit I put the tripod on sometimes. So if you see me sat with some books by me, with a light on my face, that's because I'm doing it on top of the table with my Xbox and that. Yeah, multitask, you know, multi, multi locate. Um, but the benefits are, is if I need to, I can put the tripod up and relax, you know, and don't have to always sit up. I can just chill on the sofa, you know, what I mean. or I can do it downstairs if I fancy recording downstairs. It's good, good. We recently did a segment on a series of UFO sightings near the Kalima volcano in western Mexico. Mexico. A mysterious orange lion was seen flying near the mountain. A strange hovering object that resembled a horse was also spotted by several eyewitnesses. Oh, hang on. Let me move the stuff. Now, there's another volcano in Mexico it's that's like also horse, been it? seeing some regular UFO activity. It doesn't look like a horse, does it? In July 2016, a series of unknown lights were seen floating around the Popocatepetl volcano. A live stream run by Webcams de Mexico was running 24-7 after a massive eruption launched a 6,500-foot column of ash into the air. As viewers watched in awe of the eruption, they began to notice some strange lights floating around in the sky. Take a look at what they saw. As you can see, there's a series of glowing orbs floating through the air. Can that be matter from the volcano? I'm not saying it is, but because the way it, the way it is, it's, um, you see on footage of like volcanic eruptions, we get burning embers. They all go like like you do if you were to do a fire pit or a barbecue. You get these burning little whispers come up. We get bigger ones for a volcano, obviously, because they they fought and all that. You know what I mean? So, is it that or? Is there something hidden in a volcano? Dr. Evil. At first, viewers thought they were pieces of ash reflecting strangely in the camera. However, they soon realised that they're far too large and spherical to be pieces of burning ash. Okay. Then, a year prior, in 2015, another mysterious object was spotted by the live-streaming cameras of Webcams de Mexico. This time, we can see a long, cigar-shaped object moving from right to left. This was spotted... Let's try this look again. Then, a year prior, in 2015, another mysterious object was spotted by the live-streaming cameras of Webcams de Mexico. This time, we can see a long, cigar-shaped object moving from right to left. This was spotted shortly after an eruption, which has sparked a wide range of theories. Firstly, the most grounded idea is that we're seeing some kind of material that's been ejected by the volcano. And the compression rate of the webcam is causing it to look more mysterious than it really. Well, to be fair, it's, as as of all these sort of things, not all UFOs, but well, what what can we say? It's potato quality, isn't it? Really is.
However, some UFO experts believe that aliens might be studying Earth's geothermal activity to gain a deeper understanding of our timeline. Don't see how that would work in terms of timeline, because it's like... And plus, if you... Well, consider what we could do with satellites. They could do that from space, couldn't they? You wouldn't need to fly right out in the open going, go gooey! You know what I mean? You could scan it from space with the technology they got. Here's yet another sighting at the same volcano. It was captured by Popo Catepetal Live TLX. However, the YouTube channel UFO Sightings Daily ran a deeper analysis on the footage. In the clip, we can see a white, tic-tac-shaped object flying through the sky from right to left. Here it is again through a negative filter. Taking into account the sightings of both Colima and Popocatepetl, you have to wonder what exactly is going on around these volcanoes. Could aliens really be studying them? Are they collecting data to better understand our civilization? Or is there another way to explain these bizarre sightings? I'd love to hear your take on this in the comments section down below. It is interesting, I mean, because what it does make you think, because what it does, I don't know, because there's so many things that make you think, well, yeah, but they're that, you know, if you're that advanced, a vol I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm a bit ignorant of this, because I'm not an expert of volcanoes, but at the end of the day, though, isn't it? A volcano is a volcano, you know what I mean? I mean, it can't be because they're monitoring it to see if there's a threat like uh, the one in Pompeii because there'll be loads of massive explosions of volcanoes. So, you know, it's, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Why are they interested in that volcano? It's really odd. Or it could be hiding in it. It could be using it as a base, don't it? Ghost hunters of Stoke-on-Trent are a paranormal research and investigation group dedicated to capturing evidence of the supernatural. The team offers free paranormal investigations throughout the UK to people who believe they're being haunted. They also run a haunted museum and spirit shop in Stoke-on-Trent in central England. Over the years, the team have accumulated a collection of oddities and allegedly cursed and haunted items. Maybe I should, maybe I should get one of my haunted dolls to guest star... You know, sit here and watch it together, and then we can play it back and see if the head goes like that. Yeah, you know, it looks up at me. <laughs> in this clip, which was taken inside their museum via CCTV camera on August 31st, mm. 2021, a group of people are having a tour of the property. Incidentally, nothing's happened so far. So if anything, well, it wasn't expensive, don't get it wrong. You get, um... A lot of people that go to these ghost haunted houses, I mean, they're not the objects are not, are not necessarily haunted, they claim they are. Either way, the point is they get them from so called haunted locations and their investigations. And then um, you get like a deal, like, uh, it's like a, you know, like um, a Funko Pops, so you get like a surprise box. You get ones with paranormal objects in it, so it could be photographs, because I got was it, some a photograph from a seance. A medium, a medium, a medium doll or a small doll, to be fair, and a standard sized doll. A bit of information, background, etc. And apparently they did tests on it and things like that. So you know, if say if it was an example, if it is legit, then the spirits must be will still the seller because nothing's happened in sense thing. Now keep an eye on the doll sitting in the chair. Its name is Mary and is allegedly the museum's most haunted doll. Watch. Strangely, the people don't seem to notice the doll moving. If this isn't eerie enough, just a few days prior, on August 27, the doll was caught moving on a different security camera. Take a look. That was some force, because it didn't say go, 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 go. 
Because I made a noise like there was some force being uh, driven down on the chair. As you can see, Mary slumps into the chair as it begins to rock. Yeah, slumps. So could this doll really be haunted? Perhaps you're... Just chilling out, man. Just chilling out, do a panic. Have to take a tour of the museum yourself and find out firsthand. Ooh. We've featured Sylvia C before. She regularly uploads videos to her YouTube channel documenting what appears to be a very active poltergeist haunting. She's... I've seen a... It's like... Well, the knife's come out holder. I mean, fuck, I wouldn't live going to the kitchen ever again, would you? Captured dozens of videos showing mysterious activity, things moving and inexplicable sounds in her home. Sylvia claims that the haunting began after she conducted a Ouija board session in her kitchen, which she didn't end properly. Here's a glimpse into her living nightmare. In this clip, Sylvia grabs the camera after some unsettling things have been happening in her kitchen. Watch. Moving. Well, it's easier said than done because not many people can afford it and that, but you know what I mean? It's like she sounds really terrified. It's like you 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 just look into some f cheap way of getting out there, wouldn't you? You wouldn't put up with it, would you? Or something, you know what I mean? You do, yeah. in the As you can see, the keys in the lock are moving on their own, and a cupboard door keeps swinging back and forth. In this second clip, things get a little more forceful. Take a look. Items in the dish rack are clearly moving. More activity is caught on camera. So could Sylvia really be haunted by a poltergeist? Judging by the dozens of videos on her channel, it would certainly seem that way. But as always, I'll leave this up to you to decide. Mm. I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Check out the videos for yourself and see what you think. So this thing generally, genuinely scared. Before we get to our number one spot, where we look at a house in Russia that's said to be home to a demonic presence, here's a quick little piece of CCTV footage from 2015, uploaded to the YouTube channel A Lot of Musics. It was captured at 11.20 at night. There's clearly no one around, yet something quite eerie happens. Watch. Watching that again, a shadow appears out of nowhere. It seems to slip straight into the door. Right as it does, the I and A on the sign above seem to malfunction and turn off. Here it is again, zoomed in and slowed down. It's a symbiote from Venom. The uploader themselves suggest that the clip might be fake, as the shadow does have a somewhat off appearance. So is this just CGI, or is it a glimpse at some kind of shadowy figure? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below.
Before we get on to that demonic house in Russia, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that bell icon there and turn on all oh, that's what she said. channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Dark Ghost Paranormal is a popular supernatural and urban exploration channel on YouTube. They travel to remote areas of Eastern Europe in search of the strange and unusual. In this clip, the Dark Ghost Paranormal team investigates an old house in Russia, said to be home to a powerful and demonic force. The house used to belong to an old man that regularly investigated the paranormal. Rumour has it that the man disappeared after conducting a seance in a nearby swamp. After hearing the stories, the team decides to investigate the property for themselves. They begin by placing special equipment around the house, along with numerous cameras to catch anything that may happen. A few minutes into the investigation, eerie activity begins to manifest. Watch. Watching that again as the chair moves, a second camera gets knocked over by some unseen force. Silly question, but couldn't you have bolted that camera in? Because you usually get like on the tripod there's a screw bit, isn't it? Then, minutes later, their ghost box gives an eerie warning. Listen. Ignoring the stark warning, the team continues to search the house when things take an alarming turn. The team is any one of them. Don't sound really, but it sounds like hump, someone's humping against the cupboard, doesn't it? Oh, dugun, 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 dugun. Then, as they move from one room to another, this happens.
Now, there's a strange noise emanating throughout the house. You can even make out what sounds like footsteps moving about. That's the worst thing when you can't see someone here. It's like for running up the stairs or moving along the floorboards. <laughs> Things escalate when a door slams shut. It sounds like someone's running throughout the house. Suddenly, the team is plunged into complete darkness. Every single light in the home, including torches, have all turned off for no reason at all. One of the stationed cameras filming in night vision catches a door opening on its own. Can you hear the footsteps on the floorboards? As the footstep sounds get more intense, the investigator points the camera under a table to show that there's clearly nothing in sight that could be making the horrible running sounds. Don't do that in case you see some legs go by and shit brick. Eventually it all gets too much as the investigator wisely decides to leave the house. Yeah, I would. As if all this activity wasn't enough, one of the strangest captures actually happens at the beginning of the investigation. It's fleeting and at first it's very difficult to see. Oh no, I saw it, boy. I'll move this down. I saw it. It was a shadow. However, when the image is brightened, you can make out a shadowy figure fly up out of frame. That looked like a monkey or a small little short thing, you know, in the way it jumped up. Like a goblin or a monkey, a spider monkey, when it looked, jumped up on all fours or something, it was quite tiny, you know what I mean? So what's going on in this rural house in Russia? Is it genuinely haunted? And did this alleged demonic activity have anything to do with the homeowner's disappearance? Until further info comes to hand, this intense haunting and just where the homeowner actually is will have to remain a complete mystery. Oh, shit, I hate the bit where it runs up to it. Before it goes, do, 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 do. That was. Ooh. The 
if you can't get enough of the old slap cam, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that link on the top there for some more scary videos. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist there. We'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Hit that thumbs up button or leave us a comment down below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? It's always, it's always good to see Callum and Slapped Ham, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Nice one, Callum. That's another good one. Like I said, yeah, uh, go out and check out his channel. Link in the description below. Um, so, yeah, thanks for taking the time to wa watch this with me. I'm going to go and call it a night. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like. And also let me know in the comments about the footage in particular, bits and bobs about the footage about the volcanoes and the UFOs. And that. Let me know what you thought about them. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, if you like this video, hit like. If you're new to this channel, then please subscribe because it would be great to have you here. And until the next video, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and sweet dreams. <laughs>